what we are called is a virtual retina display. So what we've seen till now from Google Glass, Oculus Rift, Vuzix, you're looking at an actual display. What you're saying is with these glasses, your retina itself becomes the display, is that right? When we send light in, it's like your retina is a screen and your brain then processes that image to go and present your brain uh, and your senses with a high fidelity, super crisp, super lucid images. Now having light, this kind of light being shone in your each eye, into each eye, straight into the retina, isn't there a danger to that, that you could have some, some damage to your eye? There is no danger of damaging your, any structure in your eye, not your pupil, not your lens, not your retina. The light source that we use is an ultra low power LED. Light coming from that diode is processed by proprietary optics and our two million micromirror array to send a reflected light directly onto your retina. As if the light that you would see just from walking exactly. around in a room. Our eyes have evolved through millions of years to react uh, favorably to reflected light. Reflected light is the light that's all around us. Emitted light or radiated light is basically artificial light photons that are actually bombarding your eye. And these photons are actually generated by electrically uh, charging tiny pixels to produce a di different colors or images. The main difference between our system and our technology is we don't even have pixels. So what does that mean for the resolution of an image that you're looking at? The perceived resolution of our, of our images is actually 1080, is equivalent to 1080p or higher without the pixelation phenomenon. What you're seeing there is an engineering prototype. The final product will be half the weight, half the size, um, and will be cool. <laughs> Has vis-a-vis -vis the engineering prototype, which I call the cyberpunk version, <laughs> you know. If I watch a film, I would wear glasses to watch the film, but with this, you know, you can sort of adjust each lens that's shining into each eye to make it completely clear. I'm gonna start a movie. The first thing you're going to see is actually an IMAX film. It's like being in the cinema and looking through a window where the projectionist is sitting and just seeing that screen is very, very clear. What you're seeing right now is Call of Duty Ghost. And as you turn around, you can see it follows your head. You've got the prototype here. Tell me about when it's going to be shipping and what you would be able to actually watch on it. We expect the product to ship into the hands of consumer later uh, in 2014. You can play any game, watch any movie, and when I say any game, you can play with your Xbox as the source, your Nintendo, your PlayStation, your Macintosh, your PC, your iPhone, and your Android. The first release is going to be a media consumption device. So it will play games and movies. Our future releases will be far more exciting, will be very exciting in the sense that it will have uh, far more advanced capabilities, including uh, expanded sensor capabilities. 